Hello and welcome back to Beautiful Illustrated Children's Books. I'm Jennifer and this is my little helper Louise um, and today I decided to make a video because this is the time of year when people are thinking of presents and gifts and so on and I am going to show you my top, our top picks for a gift books for children and Louise has helped me pick. We spent all morning rummaging through and we could have picked another 50 but we, we don't want to be here all day long. So um, so these are books that are maybe a little bit mo more of an investment. By and large, most of them are a little bit more expensive than you might normally pick. Um, but for Christmas, I think they are worth it. And they're books um, not only your children will enjoy, but a great presence for grandchildren and a for storing for grandchildren and so on, passing on. Um, a lot of these books that I've had, I've built, I've built up over uh, about um, well, two decades really. So um, obviously I didn't buy them all <laughs> at the same time. So we'll just start off a first of all, which is a lovely book. And this is actually one of my favorite books of all that I've ever bought, um, Mother Goose. Now everybody has a Mother Goose book, but this one is so beautiful, Scott Gustafson. Um, and it is, I bought this one second hand. Um, so the illustrations in this, I think this is, I'm just gonna stand up actually to show you. Um, really, 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 really beautiful um, illustration. So just a beautiful gift for any any child or any family, and um, be lovely for a uh, from a grandparent. I love I love this book. Um, I'll try and link them. I'll try and link them. I'm not that good at <laughs> doing that, but I'll I'll go through and try and link them down below places that you might be able to find them. The next one is this beautiful uh, treasury of children's literature which is published by, I don't know who it's published by, but it's um, edit by, edited by Armand Eisen, A-R-M-A-N-D-E-I-S-E-N. And this is a collection with, um, which is compiled with uh, quite a number of award-winning children's illustrators. So each story has a different illustrator. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely collection, great for browsing, read aloud and so on. I, I really love this. I think it's. I think the cover is so beautiful, uh, so 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 nice. And in fact, it's a it's a double spread, really nice. So, um, Louise, do you want to tell us very briefly about these? Oh yes. Okay. They're quite fast now because there's so many of them. So, there are lots of collections of these. Hold them up. The story or orchestras. There's the Four Seasons, the Carnival of the Animals, the Nutcracker, and Swan Lake, and like Sleeping Beauty and stuff, but we don't have them. And basically, they're like books, and they have little music notes, and when you press them, they should play a bit of classical music. So this is obviously the nutcracker. So, a uh, anyway, I'm just not pressing it too hard enough. But so these are these are I, I think these are one of the nicest collections of books on the market, and they actually are bringing out one this month. This is no, still November, so it's coming out this month, and it is the magic flute version of this. So I think these are so beautiful. I think that I, I couldn't think of a better gift anybody could bring. Highly, highly recommend them. And um, the, they're called the Story Orchestra series. Okay, so next up we have, um, I'm going to show you this lovely, um, if you've ever heard of Tasha Tudor, she was, um, she lived in the last century. So the the 20th century but she lived in a lifestyle which was um, Victorian so she wore all Victorian clothes all the time did all the different Victorian things so she lived that lifestyle even though she was in the modern time but she was a children's illustrator and any book you can find of hers will be definitely worth buying but this is the um, Robert Louis Stevenson um, Child's Garden of Verses with illustrated by her but any book illustrated by her you can get lovely little journals and things as well um, so really, I'm just going to try and hold it up there, really beautiful um, 
lovely nostalgic type of pictures and oh just so so nice so that will be another everybody should have a child's garden versus and i think this is a particularly nice version so louise what will you do next um oh this is one of louise's favorite books is this one so this is um um dr hibernica fitch's compelling compendium of irish animals this is such a gorgeous book um so the the illustrator is ega grandovich i think that's how you pronounce it she's a polish um illustrator and she lives in ireland and rob mcguire who i think is irish um so it's basically irish animals and the illustrations look at this you cannot find a nicer book about this um about irish animals and there's not too much text so the children are quite likely to read it and it's quite funny as well there's a lot of um check out her her um face a facebook page or her uh, website she has she you can buy beautiful little cards and prints of her as well ega grandovich and she also has recently out this one it's this is a much smaller book but it's equally as nice and it's just on ireland's um endangered ireland's different endangered species so either of those would be a very very nice gift um so isabel or louise do you want to show us these okay so these are little fan-like little books no they have like insects on them this is like a ladybug one there's butterflies of ireland, ireland they're ireland. all irish yeah and it has like the butterflies and like has some facts about them and their real size and stuff like that. And there's a bumblebee one. So they're lovely little stocking type filler presents. Um, I think I got these from, um, well, the, it's the National Biodiversity Data Center that, put, that brought these out. Um, so I think I bought them on Birdwatch Ireland website. So they're, they're very, very nice little small type of little gifts. Um, so this is an interesting one. I'm not really doing them in any particular order, but this is a good present if if you don't have to give a, a new item. So if it's somebody that you're giving a, a great present, but it's not brand new. These, I bought these on eBay over the years. Um, they're so nostalgic. Vintage Mandy, Bunty, um, and I have other, um, I have other um, ones like Jinty and so on. So these are the the annuals that we used to get off Santa or at Christmas um, during the 80s and 70s. And there is actually nothing like them on the market anymore. They were so they were to me they, these were Christmas. You know, getting the the annual. But you can buy these on eBay or you know, Aid Books, any some of the, some of the secondhand a uh, sites. I just think it was such a great gift. Our girls, I have five girls, um, and this is our youngest. Um, they all loved these. So I really recommend these as a gift. And it'd be unexpected because nobody else is going to give them. So I highly recommend them. Louise, what do you want to choose next? This one? This, is, this was her gift one year. This is a, the Disney book. And it's all about Disney. Uh, Hold it up so everyone can see the old Disney items and it, show, it tells about like some stories and how they were like written and stuff and it has all the movies and all the special Disney like dates it's like 80s 1980s to the 90s so it's like a timeline it's like a yeah. timeline yeah. but also not a timeline yeah, so this is more of a non-fiction book, and for the Disney Disney Istas, um, really great because she brings this to bed an awful lot to read, um, really good, and it, it's it's not necessarily it's it's Dorling Kindersley, so it's a typical Dorling Kindersley style, so very nice gift for the right child who likes Disney, um, so these are three very classic books that um will be great gifts if you haven't got them already, so we've got the very classic French um. Little girl Madeline, Mad about Madeline, and this is the complete collection. This one, which I think is still is definitely available, um, absolutely essential. That's the six that are in it. So six of the classic ones, Mad about Madeline. 
The Complete Adventures of Curious George. Look, a good big sizable gift as well. And it's all of the Curious George original um, tales, which all of our children love this book. It's quite, it's well, well worn. And this is my daughter gave me this for Christmas there a year or two ago. And she, she knows me well. The Complete Brambley Hedge. So that is all of the Brambley Hedge. You can get the lovely box sets as well. Um, and I just absolutely, sorry, I'm blocking, <laughs> putting it in your face. A really so gorgeous and cozy, and that, that's them all in one volume. Can't go wrong with them. Beautiful, so, so, so nice. Um, highly recommend those. What are you going to pick next? Oh, uh, how about um, these ones? Um, these two? Which? Uh, uh, maybe I'll tell about these. So these two are the Barefoot books. So the Barefoot books are very, um, very nice publisher. There are lots of, of, of really good books, but these two here, I love them. This one here is the Barefoot book of ballet stories and then the Barefoot book of opera. So uh, very, very, very nicely illustrated this one. I'm just going to, it has an inscription on it. Um, there's a CD in it with the music. And also then it has um, beautiful, look at that, gorgeous illustrations, little illuminations along the side, and then some of the double-paged, double-paged illustrations for any little ballerina would love this. A very beautiful, and that's, this is the opera one, which is very nice because I don't know a huge amount about opera, and um, so I've started trying to read <laughs> these little children's ones. To sort of like can understand the story because with opera you need to know the story i think before so these are two lovely books really nice barefoot books ballet and opera do you want to show these ones okay right so these are kind of like the these ones but they're bigger and yeah so these are these are an american publication these are american so they come in a nice little box, little gift, kind of gift box. There's... Hold up, hold up the closed first so you can see. So there's like flowers and it... Well, I said, <laughs> okay, so it goes through lots of different flowers, gives information about it. So this would be lovely for little any artist or anybody who likes flowers. Now, I, I'll just mention that most of these are Actually, American flowers are not all found in Europe, um, but be, I just think it's lovely. And my daughter, who loves drawing and loves drawing flowers, quite often picks this up and just to kind of use as a little um, guide for colours and so on. And this is the second one. Then there's a Greek mythology one, and it has all the Greek gods in it. Like... Well, you've marked out a few of them, haven't you? Yes, I have. <laughs> Um, who can we do? Neptune. So it has about Neptune. And it has that he is the god of the sea and one of the 12 Olympians. Okay. And then it has some stuff about him. Yeah. So this one covers all of the Greek gods. Greek gods. So this would be nice for any like homeschooling family that you know. Because actually we use these. I'm, I'm actually homeschooling now, Louise, at the moment. Um, and these are really nice supplement for, or even if you just want to kind of look, they're so colorful and very nice. So I think I bought these, it might've been amazon.com or, or one of those. It, it wasn't the European one. I think it was the American or some, somewhere you can find them if you look. Um, this was a present that Louise got last year when she finished her year of homeschooling. She was allowed to pick a nice collector's book. And it's, uh, D.K. That's Dorling Kindersley. Dorling Kindersley. Hold it up. Good girl. Encyclopedia about animals. And it has, oh, it has like reptiles. And it has lots of animals and like facts about them. Yeah. Then, kind of like a food chart. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, most families 
like to have a book about animals and this is a really nice one because the illustrations are so dramatic eh, and colorful and they just it's, it's kind of like a coffee table book as well like look at that bee the honeybee a really gigantic pictures that should really take your breath away so Dorling Kindersley it's exactly what you expect from them really good and she doesn't like this page this shark <laughs> so in case it comes into her shower now these were all big hits with all of our children um, and we have loads of the little small ones at home at upstairs so the the Osborne puzzle world books so there's all there's loads of them this is the knight's quest one and um, so i don't need to show you they're very typical of Osborne. everybody's familiar with them but they're great gifts and there's great um play value our, our all of ours we have six uh, they're all mostly adults now but all of them went back to these time and again and again and you get the little smaller ones and all great gifts a really really sure hit if you give them to i think any child very few children don't like them um so what about this one um okay okay and yeah i'll tell about this <laughs> he was like so this is the little golden books and um, which you know they're so classic and um, this is the golden book of fairy tales and it's the same publishers obviously and it's a collection of it's not like the very very simple ones of the, that are, you're familiar with with the little golden books they it, it you know it's much longer text but the pictures are so beautiful look at that so delicate and stunning so really great for uh, read alouds for cuddling in um, or maybe a little bit older children that like so I'm just thinking are, are, are all the colors so they're all I think all of the pictures are these kind of really muted muted a, a really collector's book and oh yes I just had to see there are some full color as well so look at that absolutely gorgeous really beautiful and um, this was very popular in our house as well for for bedtimes so uh, how about oh this is a lovely little gift it's not really a book it is a book, but it's... Do you want to explain it? Sure. So what it is... Wait, now don't... Oh, uh, it's a, just say what it's called first. It's called My Herbarium. And what it is, is you can like pick some flowers and dry them out. And then it'll have... I did this one. And you can just like glue them to the page. And then it says like... The common name, scientific name, the family the date and the, the location and then it has some notes about it and then you put a picture or a drawing of it in there and at the front it has like what plants you did and yeah yeah so I think this would be a lovely little very unusual little gift because um you mightn't think of it so she has done a few we do, we do them with her little school um and i think i keep saying to her now right now really beautifully because your grandchildren are going to be fighting over this and they'll they'll want it so it's a sort of book and you can get lovely adult versions of these as well with kind of leathery covers a really really nice idea i, I love this so much um and in the same kind of along the same lines there's this other book which we actually made a video before about um Somebody recommended this on one of the homeschool pages. First video. Yeah, that's right. It was the first video. And it's the, the Mary Frances sewing book. So what this is, is um, it was published a uh, hundred years ago or so. And it's basically a little instruction book. Starts off with the different stitches and equipment, how to do each one. And then as you advance, it actually has a whole um, layout for a doll. That you can that you can sew and it has the, the the patterns and so on so we have we got with this a little bit of the um, you know that type of aria paper and red embroidery thread so about once every so often so we have a little thing but we're going to decorate this a bit more nicely and here we do her that was the first one she did the different um different uh, types of stitch and each stitch is getting a little bit harder and harder Okay, so that would be nice to give to a little child, and that's as far as we've got. Um, very, very nice um, Mary Frances sewing book. Okay, um, I, don't, I don't keep hurrying now. This is 
absolutely gorgeous um, the knave of hearts so what I like about this it reminds me of little women where the, the family put, would put on plays so this is um, published I'm, telling you, I'm going to tell you now where this was published so this guy Maxwell Parrish he was it was first published in 1920, 1925 and this is a, um, a facsimile publication I think it was a few years ago the Knave of Hearts and what it actually is is a play so it's done out like um, like a, a play so if you have say a little group of children or cousins that would like that you know would be interested in putting on at Christmas a little a little play this is lovely or even if just to read anyway or to have or for an adult collector because I bought this for myself really um, just move that out of the way it's crinkly um, really nice so the Knave of Hearts um, Louise Saunders and Maxwell Parrish if you if you ever find anything of Maxwell Parrish's books tend to be very 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 expensive because they're collectible and um, but because this is new and a uh, replica it's not it wasn't too expensive I recommend that um, Map. which one the maps yeah okay so the next few are all from the same series so this one this is called maps and it's, it's by this big picture press and it's called maps and basically it here has all the oh, flags and then it has like a map here's a map of india and it would have like some pictures like there's a tiger and here's Oh, here's Santa. Here's Finland, and there's Santa. <laughs> so these are these are lovely, um, lovely kind of vintage sort of uh, feel to it, and um, very, very, very. I think there's actually a newer version of this out now that is maybe a little bit more coloured, but this is gorgeous. And then in the same series, there's a whole lot of them in the series. This is one of my favourite books, um, which actually was a gift to. Um, my 23 year old because she just loves a uh, space and so on so she got a telescope and she got this book as a present and um, the science museum welcome to the museum series and it's the same big the big picture press and um, so this one is stunning it's absolutely gorgeous uh, huge pictures of the planets look at that Gorgeous and just enough text to um, not to be overwhelming. Really, really lovely. So that's that's lovely. And each of them comes with a gorgeous um, activity book. And the activity book is actually aimed at quite young because it has like spot a circle the dwarf planet. Oh, we can tear out the pages that they come out. They finish the draw a spaceship. You know, so just very nice little, you know, complete the drawings, spot the difference, little activities on astronomy, which is lovely. So those together would make a very nice gift. This one, do you want to show this one? Okay. This one is also an animal book and it's by the same people. Yeah. So Hold here, up. it's Animalium. 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 Okay, so it has like all the amphibians and it has like key plates and it has like the numbers and what it would be. Like this is an axolotl. <laughs> Your favourite animal. Yeah. And so, it, yeah. they're gorgeous. And then do you want to show the activity book Here's that goes with that? the activity book. Let's just flick through. It's uh, like colouring. Oh, uh, it's like a maze. Okay, so lots of them. Um, so they're really nice and they'd be very nice little companion as well to give us a gift. And um, so we're coming to nearly end. to the end. Um, I really recommend these. Um, I've shown them loads of times before. They've been out quite a while. The Children's Book of Virtues, uh, the Children's Book of Hearth and Home, Home and Family. And they have Children's Book of Heroes and so on. Um, they're by edited, they're so there's collections of stories edited by William Bennett who um, you might have seen the big book of uh, virtues, which is a lovely gift for maybe a, a 
university student or something, but this is the children's version. And it has um, Michael Haig, who is the illustrator, who uh, you might know his kind of teddy bear books from the 80s. They were very nice. Um, but he has a very, a very distinctive kind of um, style of, of um, drawing. So that one and all of these stories are in the original uh, Book of Virtues. And these are just one particular ones that are suitable for slightly smaller children and really nicely illustrated. Very good. Right. What have you got? Oh, this is lovely. This would be a, and this is actually a, this is in the bookshops actually now, as far as I know, slow down. And there is actually a, a version for even smaller children of this. It's, so this one is a slow down 50 mindful moments in nature by Rachel Williams and um, illustrated by Freya Hartas. So this is just 50 little vignettes of nature. And look at that, the bee, and it's just a little incident in nature. And then the next one is, like, what's this, a raindrop? A Jew collecting on a leaf. So just beautiful little quiet moments that um, you can share with a child. Uh, what's this, a bat doing something? Hunting in the night. Um, a fox eats berries from a bush. And uh, snowflakes. 50 of them. So that is really, really gorgeous. And there's a smaller, and I think, I think there might be a little board book of it as well. I'm not 100% certain, but certainly there's a, a younger version of this one as well. So slow down, very, very, look at even the little morphosis, metamorphosis of the butterfly. Is this our last book? I think so. Okay. So this is, um, it's called The Lost Words. Okay. Robert McFarlane and J a Jackie Morris. So these are... What, you, what they do is they take book a it's called a spell book but it's, not, it's nothing to do with spells like it's to do with spells as in spelling and um, so it takes words that are kind of not used as much we're all, we're all great at saying nice and good and amazing and all this and, but it has just li little words and then um just kind of like a little a poem gorgeous illustration um for each one and it just plays with the, with these words snake there um, Bluebell, I just think this is, it's actually like a coffee table book, you could give it to anybody, an adult, um, maybe a small child wouldn't like, but they, but they might, look at that, that is gorgeous. Um, real, a lovely collector's book, um, really, really gorgeous, so I recommend this one, The Lost Words, so it'd be a beautiful gift, and nice and big size, you know, so for the visual, for child is visual and likes to get a big size present. Um, so that is all we have at the moment mm -hmm. and I have about another 50 that I could show with a smaller size and maybe I'll make another video before Christmas and mm -hmm. um, what do you think you like making them do you? yeah yeah um, so I hope you I hope you've got a, some good ideas on that and I hope that my phone will let me share this because I've got a storage problem I'm not a youtuber a, so I've got a bit of problem trying to upload these things so hopefully I'll get it uploaded and you can um, buy some of these for the children in your life or for yourself mm -hmm. bye